सो नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द साइन कन्वेंशन द साइन कन्वेंशन विच आई विल डिस्कस नाउ विल बी वैलिड बोथ इन केस ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन एज वेल एज रिफ्रैक्शन सो दिस इज अ जनरलाइज साइन कन्वेंशन विच आई विल फॉलोइंग थ्रू आउट दिस चैप्टर ऑफ ऑप्टेक्स द साइन कन्वेंशन टेल्स अस दैट द फर्स्ट थिंग द साइन कन्वेंशन टेल्स अस इज दैट द reflecting or the refracting object that is the mirror or the lens divides the space into two parts one is known as the real space and the other is known as the virtual space now what is real space and what is virtual space real space is the space in which the reflected ray lies for example if i have a concave mirror then if a ray strikes here it gets reflected in this direction so this space is my real space okay similarly if i have a convex mirror ray strikes here it goes like this so this is my real space this whole part is my real space and this side is my virtual space so what is real space the real space is the space in which the reflected or the refracted ray lies the other part is the virtual space because see the lens or the mirror divides the space into two parts this side and this side one side the reflected ray or the refracted ray will lie that side is the real space and the other side is the virtual space as simple as that now the second point which the second point which it says is that real is always positive that means in our sign convention real i'll keep as positive virtual i'll keep as negative okay okay now one thing i wanted to tell in the first point is that for a particular reflection or refraction a point let's say this point can be in the real space right but it can also be in the virtual space for other reflection or refraction for example let's take this example this point let's say the object is here and let's say this forms an image here so ray strikes here it goes through this so for this reflection this part is my real space because the reflected rays uh, reflected ray lies in this part but for this lens you see that the ray coming from here will go like this okay so this for this lens or for this refraction my real space is this and this becomes my virtual space so the definition of real space and virtual space depends on the object where the or the mirror or lens where the reflection or refraction takes place for a particular reflection or refraction an object can be in the real space or virtual space but in the other one it can be in the real space or virtual space like okay like for this one it this was in the real space this object but for this lens this was in the virtual space okay now the third point which the sign convention tells us is that apart from you you know the mirror formula is 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 1 by f so it says that apart from you that is the image uh, object distance if other quantities like v and f are in the real space then it is considered to be positive if it is in the virtual space it is considered as negative okay now let's take example let's again take the example of the concave mirror this some ray which strikes here 
gets reflected here. So this is my real space. Since the reflected ray lies in this space, this is my virtual space. Okay. Now for this mirror, the concave mirror, the focal length is here, right? And let's say the image is formed somewhere. Let's say it's a virtual image, or let's say the image is formed here. Now, this says that apart from u, v and f are positive. It is if it's in the real space. See f. is in the real space because it lies in this side so f will be positive what is v v lies in this side which is the virtual space so v is negative let's take another example let's take the case of convex mirror now okay you know that the focal length of convex mirror lies here and the convex mirror always forms a virtual image which is here okay rays of light comes like this it goes like this so which is my real space this is my real space because the reflected ray lies in this part my virtual space is this side so what is the sign of u v and f the sign of u i'll discuss so leave that the sign of v what is the sign of v the image is formed here which is in the virtual space so v is negative what is f f is again lies it lies in this part which is in virtual space so f is negative so so that's why we say that in general the focal length of a convex mirror is taken as negative because see in a convex mirror the rays of light will get reflected from here only and the focal length is in the opposite side so it's always negative concave mirror has a positive focal length okay so we have discussed how to take the signs of v and f now let's come to the main part which is how to give sign to u for u for u it says that to get the sign of u move from the object to the mirror or lens okay so it says that where, wherever there is the object move from the object to the mirror and if the direction of movement is same as the direction of incident ray then u is positive else it is negative for example let's take another example let's take a concave mirror so this is my concave mirror okay so let's say the object is here and rays of light are incident like this gets reflected like this so what is u it is said that i have to move from the object to the mirror lens so i am moving from the object to the mirror lens so i am moving like this and what is my direction of movement my direction of movement is like this okay and what is the direction of incident ray the direction of incident ray is also like this so both are in the same direction so my u is positive in this case okay let's take another example let's say again it's like this my object is kept here image is formed here since it's a convex lens image will be virtual focal length will be somewhere here in this part so my v is negative since the real space is there reflected ray lies in this part f is also negative u i move from the object to the mirror so my direction of movement is like this and what is the direction of incident ray the direction of incident ray is also like this so u is positive okay now let's take another example let's say well i have uh two mirrors okay 
this is my object this is a concave mirror this is my convex mirror this example i am showing you to give an example where u is negative let's say this the ray of light starts from here it gets first reflected from the concave surface and then from the convex surface after reflection from the concave surface let's say the image is formed somewhere here okay and after reflection from the convex uh, concave surface it gets reflected from the concave surface and finally the image is formed somewhere okay now tell me what is u what is v and what is f for this what is u what is v and what is f for this remember the real space and the virtual space will be different for both concave and convex mirror depending on the reflected ray where it lies what will happen this goes like this the image is formed here the rays of light gets reflected here and finally some image the image is formed in this here part theek okay? hai okay clear this is the intermediate image this is the final image for this one the ref this is the real space because the reflected ray lies here and i move from the object to the mirror my direction of movement is this the rays also strike like this so u is positive v is positive f is positive now let's take the example of convex mirror what is the real space what is the virtual space my this is the real space because the reflected ray lies here and this is my virtual space right okay now to find what is u see to move from the object to the mirror i move in this direction because for this convex lens this is my object the image formed by this mirror is the object to this mirror but so the, my direction of movement is this from object to the mirror but the rays of light which are incident on the convex mirror are in this direction you see it's in this direction so this is in this direction so my u is negative in this case okay to find the sign of v and f we need to see where the reflected ray lies the reflected ray lies here so this is my real space this is my virtual space so my focal length is obviously negative okay and v what is v the sign of v we need to find what will be the sign of v the sign of v will be negative okay so that's it we have enough discussed enough of sign convention now let's understand this what is multiple reflection